Hi, boys and girls. You're here with me, Krista Elizabeth, and, and Peach is a squirrel. And whew, we've been busy already today. Yeah, we've been doing spring cleaning. Lots of cobwebs and dust to get rid of, things to organize. I think the house looks pretty good now, don't you? Yes, I appreciate all your help, Peaches. Oh, let's get down this duster and broom. I think, oh, I think we're done. And Thank you for your duster. You wiped a lot of places today for me. Yes, we cleaned baseboards and corners in the, by the ceiling where it looked like maybe a spider was trying to set up camp. <laughs> we don't want that, no. Oh, you're tired? Yeah, I'm tired too. It's a busy season in the spring. There's gardening work outside and there's things to tidy and take care of inside and putting winter things away. Yes, and there's been schoolwork too. It's been very busy. You're right. Oh, I think we do need a rest. Yes, it is important to rest. Work is important, but we cannot work and go, go, go all the time. No, our bodies weren't made for that. Our minds weren't made to just go, go, go all the time either. Rest is important. Yes. Sometimes there are times we just got to get a lot done. You know what? But we got to pay attention to when's the time to get things done and, and when maybe there's something more important to do. What do I mean? Well, I'm thinking of the story of two sisters. Actually, there was two sisters and a brother. The brother's name was Lazarus, and he had a sister, Martha, and a sister, Mary. And Jesus and some other disciples came over to Lazarus, Martha and Mary's house. And you know what? Oh, Martha was a good person. She liked to be a host and be hospitable and cook for people and take care of people. And so she invited Jesus and all their friends. And while they were there, Martha, well, well, sometimes when we care about things, we get all in a tizzy and busy and bothered about things. And she was trying to get stuff done and cook a meal. And she was getting flustered and frustrated. Yeah, I think she needed a rest and she just didn't know it. And her sister Mary was there too. And because Jesus was there, oh, she wanted to sit at Jesus' feet. Because she knew if she sat and listened to Jesus, Jesus would talk about God and God's love and God's goodness. And she knew she wanted to, to take some time to rest and hear that. But Martha was in... Oh, I got to get this done. Got to get this done mode. And it wasn't going well. <laughs> Do you think you know what happens? Oh, you think Martha got upset because Mary was sitting there looking like she was doing nothing. but She was doing an important something. Yes, Martha got so frustrated. She came into the room and said, Jesus, don't you care that I'm working hard? And there's Mary doing nothing in here. And Jesus loved Martha. And he just knew that she was just too upset by doing too many things. And he said, Martha, 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 you are worried about many things, but only one thing matters. Mary has chosen the better part. Yes, because Mary chose to, to enjoy Jesus while he was there. Yes, sometimes if you've ever visited someone and they're busy doing all the cleaning instead of your you're like, stop, just visit with me, rest a while. Work will always get done, but sometimes we got to pause and rest and take time. <laughs> yes. Yes, and sometimes our bodies physically do need to rest. We don't need to sit. We need to lay down and have a nap. Sometimes when we're grumpy and tired, it's a sign maybe we need to have a little sleep. Or maybe we just haven't eaten or had a drink of water for a while. <laughs> we got to think about that too. That's right. But sometimes it's not just our bodies that are tired. I think, I think our minds get tired. Our minds get tired when oh, it seems like one thing after another goes wrong. That wears you out in a certain way. Or it wears you out when you're trying to think, oh, what do I have to do? And how can I do it? And yeah, weary is a word we sometimes use. It just means feeling oh, overwhelmed and exhausted emotionally. Yeah, we can all get that way sometimes. 
And there's good news for the times that we feel worried and we feel like, oh, we're carrying too many burdens. Jesus says, come to me, all of you who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and, and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble of heart. You will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Yeah, I love that Jesus says, if you're wore out, come spend time with me. How do you do that? Well, sometimes I take time with Jesus just by taking a deep breath and knowing that God is with me. Sometimes I go and I, I turn on worship music, of praise to God that just gets my focus back on God. Sometimes I'll just take a pause and, and go read a short little devotion or just pause and say, God, this is a prayer for help. I feel wore out and I need your help. That's another thing that I do. Yeah. So Jesus says, however you need to do it, come to me when you're weary and burdened and he'll give rest. That we're to take his yoke upon us. No, not the yoke in like an egg yoke. No, yoke um, was something that oxen used to wear when they helped farmers. They would put this thing across their back that would enable them to pull the plow or to pull something heavy. Yeah, and each yoke was made special for the oxen. So when they had their yoke on, the right one, it didn't feel heavy what they were pulling behind. It felt, it felt okay and all right that they could keep on keeping on. Yeah. So sometimes when I feel like, oh, things are heavy, like I'm emotionally, like I got a heavy backpack, it's a sign to me like, hey, Jesus told me that his yoke and burden is easy and light. That's not what I'm feeling right now. So maybe I'm worried or carrying something that I'm not supposed to be carrying. Yeah, it sort of reminds me. I am glad that Jesus said that we can come to him and have rest. You know? The busy day we had, I think I want to share that to you in a song, in a song that, that even sounds restful. Would you like that? <laughs> Peaches is like, I'd like to fall asleep already too. Well, sometimes rest for our body and the soul happens at the same time. <laughs> Let me sing to you. Come to me, all of you who are weary and burdened, I will give to you rest. Take my yoke now upon you, learn from me, for I'm gentle and humble of heart. You'll find rest for your soul, my yoke is easy and light. Come to me, all of you who are weary and burdened, I will give to your rest. Take my yoke now upon you. Learn from me, for I'm gentle and humble of heart. You'll find rest for your souls. My yoke is easy and light. You like that song? You feel more rested even just hearing it? I think I do too. Oh, let's thank God that we find rest in Jesus. Let's pray. Repeat after me. Loving God. Thank you for work and the times we have to do it. Thank you also for rest. Help us to enter into rest and to enjoy rest, mind, body, and soul. Thank you, Jesus. When we're weary or worn out, you promise we can come to you and find rest. What good news. We love you. Amen. Well, how about we rest? Let's take a lemonade and go outside and rest some more and enjoy God's beautiful creation. Well, take care, friends. I hope you can rest when you need to too. Yes, and we'll see you again sometime. Blessings and bye for now.